Exploring the impacts of ecotourism on the sea turtle in Australia. There are six species of the Australian sea turtle recognised in the Great Barrier Reef World Heritage Area in Australia. All six species listed by the Union of Conservation and Nature and Natural Resources as being endangered or critically endangered. Despite being protected under the Australian Government's Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act and a natural recovery plan having been adopted in Australia in July 2003, the adverse consequences of human activity still remains a contributing factor to the global decline of the sea turtle. Ecotourism is explored as a concept in promoting environmental learning in contributing to the sustainability and conservation of the sea turtle population and to understand the impacts ecotourism has on the sea turtle in Australia. Sea turtles are victims of human developments of various kinds, such as human encroachments on sea turtle breeding grounds, damage or death at sea due to boat strikes, incidental catching in commercial fishing lines and marine pollution causing death due to indigestion of waste such as plastics and other pollutants. Sea turtles are shared international resource due to their general life cycle and breeding habits, travelling over international borders between feeding grounds and nesting sites, causing laws intact and enforced in one country to be insufficient for their total protection. In consequence of this, human activities such as illegal slaughtering, harvesting and killing occur, contributing to the facing threats and decline of the sea turtle population. Harvesting of turtle meats, turtle shells and eggs also occurs for food, to sell for income and to promote healthy skin. Ecotourism is a type of tourism that plays a role in promoting environmental learning towards the Australian sea turtle to help its conservation. It helps to promote communal solidarity and is a form of tourism that is wildlife based and careful of the environment. Turtle based ecotourism provides economic benefit by generating extra income and employment to the community. Educational benefit by feeding important information about the sea turtles to tourists. Conservation benefit contributing to the sustainability of the population of the sea turtles. And research benefit contributing to the scientific research. Turtle-based tourism is an experience that educates and develops awareness to tourists, provides an opportunity for humans to use sea turtles in a sustainable manner through the economic and social values associated with sea turtles. In result of tourists becoming more educated and aware of the sea turtle habitats and threats, they develop greater appreciation and empathy for the species, which in turn fosters the conservation of the sea turtle population. Turtle-based tourism can either be a positive force supporting the conservation of turtles or a destructive force when it does not have proper regard for the sea turtle's ecological needs. Tourism can adversely affect wildlife as a result of human disturbances, infrastructural development and pollution arising from tourism. Artificial beachfront lights and shades from buildings, vehicles, human presence, campfires and flashlights in the vicinity of turtle rookies can negatively disturb and disorientate turtles and expose them to further predation and accidents. Furthermore, research has shown that factors such as tour boats, untrained divers and snorkelers influence the behaviour of sea turtles, causing injury and habitat destruction such as physical damage to coral reefs and sea grass beds which result in disruption to turtle feeding success. Tourists and their activities need to be controlled to ensure the impact on the sea turtle's environment caused by tourism does not contribute further to the sea turtle decline. The uncontrolled efforts of disruption to sea turtles could lead to the self-destruction of wildlife-based tourism in the tourism industry if guidelines are not adopted to control impacts. Tazel and Wilson suggest if sustainable use of the sea turtle is to be expanded, then strict guidelines have to be adopted to reduce the impacts on the sea turtle population.